okay so in this video we are going to we are going to look at we are going to look at uh we did uh, from the first video we did our addition of fractions that's the course we did but now we are going to add there's a multiplication of fractions but before that we want the student to get this one first the addition first before they go to multiplication so you want to add either an assignment or a quiz so let's add an assignment so to add an assignment we can click on add an activity or resource and also note that you can add an assignment after each lesson after this lesson one you can add an assignment before when they finish to go to lesson two you can add assignment two so lesson one lesson two is addition of uh, fractions now we're going to add a quiz or assignment let's take an assignment first so you click and add an activity assignment is number one you click add you click add then this the assignment name and this time assignment assignment is assignment assignment one so here will be the question here will be the question here will be the question or if it is a word maybe if you type the questions on your system maybe you typed it or it's a question something you can upload it the student will download the see the question they also type it and then they will submit it yeah so assignment one if the question is in a video format you can also upload the video so that they watch the question you ask them and they will do it if it's an exercise anything or you can type it here so just so you can see oh, what is addition of fraction okay this is just an example as i said you can attach you can attach the video question you can add, attach an image you can upload a file maybe you can type the question in the distance in, in word or excel then you upload it they will download it and they will see the question they also solve it and upload it back to you you see so so they allow submission maybe so you allow the submission from 2nd of january that's when they should they should start submission the they will start submitting the assignment then the due date you can set it on maybe on the fifth so it means they have they have two third fourth fifth they have three days to submit the assignment on the fifth they will not be able to uh, they will not be able to submit uh, any assignment again the cut off date is uh, you can give them uh, extra this thing maybe you can cut off if they failed on the fifth you can give them on the sixth as a grace period just remind me to grade by this one is your it will be notified to you that the student have uh, submitted the reason so you have to submit the assignments you have to mark them and give their marks before that date so the submission types you can select multiple you can select online text they can type it and submit file submission they can work it on the sheet scan it and upload maximum number of uploaded file you can choose let's say they can upload let's say based on the test you give them they can upload let's say for the upload limit i prefer you give them okay it's one mb accepted files accepted file types is not it's optional you can leave it so submission settings Mm, request them to click submit button card does not accept the submission statement attempt reopen uh, let me see attempt reopen does 
with them how student submission attempts are open. The verb options are never. The student submission cannot be reopened manually. The student submission can be reopened by a teacher automatically. But the student submission is automatically open until the student has it. So it means when the student submits the assignment, he feels when you set it automatically, then it means the student the assignment is open for the student to retake the assignment again. Or if you take it manually, it means you will open it for a specific student who failed to retake the assignment again or uh, you can to, uh, you set it to manual for new students for new students so when a student has submitted it's gone by new students who came in you can reopen it for them to do that assignment so you can set it to manually you can set it to manually then the maximum attempt you can set it to two times you fail you do it again if you fail but you can change it anytime you can change it anytime so you click on save and display you can save and display so we have added assignment that's it what is addition or fraction that's the question participant those who have submitted those who you need to mark, you can view all the submissions, you can view the case, everything. No, there's no users, there's no grades here. So, you go back to your found it. So, you click on TTS. So, you have added course forum, you have added course chat room, you have added lessons, and you have an assignment here. Then the next thing to do is to add lesson three. That will be in the next video. Thank you.